Hello, everyone. Let me know if you can hear me now. Awesome. Wonderful. Hello, everyone. I uh, hope everyone is uh, having a good day so far. I am here by myself. This is what happens when I'm here by myself. Uh, wild things happen. So I'm just using the wrong cable for the mic. So uh, so yeah, I, you're just getting me tonight. AJ is, uh, is busy this evening. And Meg, uh, the Duchess Megan Anthony is at home with her husband, uh, rearranging their brand new home that he uh, moved into while we were away on our NCL breakaway trip. So uh, it's good to see everybody. I'm here drinking some uh, mainly coffee. I wanted to meet Roger this morning. He was in Jersey, but I, uh, I could not make it work. I had a meeting at 11 in Philly, so I could not uh, get to Roger. If you are here in the room, even if you are not going to be super interactive tonight, that is totally fine. If you could just put your name, just say hi in the chat. So uh, I can add you to the board for coffee and the book for today, which I'm going to give away another one of the same books that we gave away before because I have two copies of it. Um, all right, let's start saying hello to everybody. So we got, who do we got here tonight? We got Tom Murphy, fresh back from his uh, MSC Seascape cruise. Kevin and Carrie Ann are both here. Robert is here. We have Paolo said congratulations on us getting to 6,000 subscribers, which Dave let everybody know. Thank you guys so much. Did hit 6,000 while we were on the cruise. Hello, Sana. How are you? Said hi to Dom. We get Dom in there. We got Tony Diaz here. Saw Tony uh, last night on the uh, Royal Caribbean blog Facebook live stream. Uh, we have Fred and Lisa here. Got LK here. We got two old farts here. Felicia's here. Edward Clayton's here. Mr. Peter Heeren and maybe Melinda's here. Who knows? Add Peter to the wheel. Um, so I'll talk about... Um, I'll talk about breakaway in a couple minutes there, Dave. It wasn't it wasn't a bummer for sure. I'll, I'll talk about it. I tried to be uh, super nitpicky in my review just to kind of give everybody the the uh, the once over. Hello, Shannon. Welcome. Hello, Patty. How are you, Patty? Who's sailing on Celebrity upcoming? Tom said MSC Seascape and the Yacht Club was tremendous. Tom sent me a full Word document. With his right up, that was awesome. And then just adding everyone to the board here. Hello, Edward. Uh, Tony, <laughs> so funny. It is weird watching the watching the Royal Caribbean blog live stream on Facebook on Tuesdays because then it feels like it's Monday. Um, you know. Yeah, Tony's a big star on the uh, Royal Caribbean blog uh, live streams. So I will, uh, Tara, how's everything going on down there in uh, in Baltimore? This is a wild, wild week down there. Super sad for the people, uh, obviously, that are either confirmed or presumed dead at this point. It's super sad, but... Um, how is it? How's traffic and everything down there? Yeah, I figured it was crazy down there. It's, uh, it is. That's a really, really crazy story. Um, I got, did get an email from, I don't know if any, if this applies to anybody, but just so everybody's aware, um, got an email from Carnival saying that. Customers who are disembarking the Carnival Legend on March 31st, if you know anybody who's on that ship, um, they said, we'll now disembark from the port of Norfolk and Carnival will provide transportation back 
to the port of Baltimore. The legend sailing on the 31st will now go out of the port of uh, Norfolk. And Carnival has adjusted the embarkation times by two hours. So you don't have to be on board till 7.30 p.m. Carnival is going to make uh, arrangements for buses between Baltimore and Norfolk for the people. If they want to still park in Baltimore, they can park there and they will shuttle them down. It's going to start at 1030 in the morning and they will be offered transportation via bus back to Baltimore at the end of the cruise. Uh, and Carnival is providing a hundred dollar onboard credit, which is really nice because they definitely don't have to do that. Uh, the Carnival Pride, there hasn't been an update on yet, but I'm guessing it's going to be something similar. Although who knows? And Royal Caribbean has not provided an update on Vision of the Seas yet. So we'll see what happens there. It's not coming back till April 4th, just so you're aware. That was from the uh, head of PR at uh, Carnival. I got that email today, just in case anybody was wondering. Um, yeah, it's just crazy. The So the Bar Harbor restrictions are in effect. So quick switch over to another port there. They are in effect. They've grandfathered in ships that were scheduled prior to like mid 2022. So you can, uh, if they were already scheduled, they'll still be fine. Uh, the real, real limiting is going to start in 2025. It's going to be, uh, really, really bad. Tony Mac. Good to see you back. Welcome back to the live stream. Dave said, saw the New Jersey came back to Philly. Yeah, my dad was excited. My dad loves that stuff. He was in the Navy and was on a destroyer. So he loves going over there and to the one in Boston. I forget what ship that is up there. But he he's the one who let me know that it's they they moved it uh, back to get some, get a little dry dock, get some work done on it. Yeah, apparently the people who fell off the bridge in their in this stuff there were road workers who were doing some work. It's really really sad. It's uh, it's wild. I don't know how long it's going to take to replace a bridge like that or what their plans are to do that, but that is crazy. Hello, Lori. How are you? Adding everybody to the wheel because I have to do all the little things tonight. Um, So let's talk about the breakaway a little bit. I don't know if everybody has seen the review. Uh, Tony said, yeah, it's going to take years. Yeah, it is, absolutely. It's going to take years. I do wonder like if that's going to affect how they rebuild the bridge, if it's going to be bigger or what they're going to do. I have no idea. But uh, so <laughs> Dave said, maybe Carnival Freedom should get a Costa funnel. Seriously, that Carnival funnel, what are the odds? Um, it's twice now. <laughs> Tony Max said, is that an MSC mug? It is. I bought it on my, uh, my cruises. They sell them in the gift shop. They're like 10 bucks. They're actually really nice. Oh, so sad. It's so, so crazy. Yeah, they did pull two. So my initial, the initial thing I saw was that they pulled someone out and one of those people was fine. Uh, didn't require medical attention. And one of them went into critical condition, but I haven't heard anything else about like the people that are confirmed dead at this point. I haven't seen any like confirmation, but I was, I had a crazy day today, so I didn't see a lot of that going on. That'd be really cool. It'd be really cool if they built a big, like a much bigger bridge so you can get bigger ships. But I know you guys like the little ships anyway. So let's talk about, um, we're going to talk about breakaway a little bit. So we did the review. I did my like debrief and review. And whenever I do those, I really try to like caveat it with like everything that I complain about is going to be super nitpicky. Uh, we had a great time. Like, I don't want it to, I don't want to, everyone to think like, oh, it was a terrible cruise. We had a great time. Uh, whenever the three of us go, um, go on a, on a cruise together. We have a great time. Um, it was so much fun. The, all the ports were good. I, I talked about it a little bit. If you don't really want to do anything, you like just want to get off and enjoy the port. Three of those ports are like very easy to just go to a pool or do something without spending any extra money, which is really nice. Um, 
the like we said with embarkation it was super rainy you'll see all the vlogs the vlogs will be done by next uh next week so um you'll see the i think they actually start maybe saturday friday or saturday i'll have the first vlog up from new orleans which was wild new orleans was wild uh we were down there for the day before st patty's day and we were staying a block off of bourbon street which i will never do again i just finished the video of like the hotel review and the room tour that place was so crazy it was there were people there was a nightclub right outside of the hotel window and they were going to like 2 a.m man uh it was it was really wild but we had a great time on the cruise my biggest issue with the cruise was just the lack of like viable entertainment like burn the floor i don't know if anybody likes burn the floor i saw burn the floor on getaway ladder it was two years ago whatever we saw it on and i i fell asleep aj fell asleep and i love dancing like i watch so you think you can dance i love those kind of like song and dance shows i like those that show just puts me to sleep it's not great and for that to be the headline show and then really not have anything else going on. Bill of Fortune, I think, has been a little less well-received um, than they thought it, it, it was going to be because it's you have to pay. Like Family Feud, you don't have to pay on Carnival. Uh, for uh, Price is Right on Prima, you don't have to pay. We, you know, the other Pressure Luck, you don't have to pay to play. So I, I don't understand it and the – the one thing I will say is if you've been on, if you have been on any of the Breakaway and Breakaway Plus class ships and they have a Sid Normans, we went to see, I've never made it into a, uh, the, um, oh my God, I'm like, Fleetwood Mac show. Jesus, I'm getting old. I'm really getting old. The Fleetwood Mac rumor show. So I didn't understand the whole concept of that show. We went to see that, uh, and you'll see it in the vlogs. But we went to see the rumor show, and I didn't know that they did. Basically, they do the album from front to back. So it's just the whole album of rumors, and they tell the little stories about, you know, Chrissy McVie and John McVie breaking up, and uh, all of the other like breakups and everything. So it was really interesting. That show was awesome. There was also a fist fight during the show. It's the first time I've ever seen a fist fight on a cruise and on Norwegian. It's not where you would expect it. Um, but the girl, I will say this is really, really interesting. So we're at the show and they're singing all the, uh, all the like, you know, songs and they're doing like, you know, that album is amazing. So there's all kinds of great songs on that album. And, I see the like one girl is playing Christy McVie look over and she had like a weird look on her face and the girl who's playing Stevie Nicks. They kind of looked at each other and remember there's two like huge guys on this show. Uh, you know, there's like a drummer and then there's, you know, um, John, the guy who plays John McVie and the, oh, God, I'm really bad. I'm losing my mind today. It's, it's late at night. So the two big guys are like six, three or something. And I see out of the corner of my eye, these two women leave and they're like running out of the show. And the girls playing Christy McVie ran over and like manhandled two guys that were in a fight, like two drunk guys that were in a fight. And then eventually security came, they stopped the show for like 20 minutes. Uh, and then they came back out and did the show. And that girl got like a standing ovation for like breaking up a fight. She was awesome. She was like, not now. We're not doing this. Like you guys get out. She was awesome. She handled the whole thing before security even got there. So that was wild. Anyway, if you get a chance to see the rumor show without a fist fight, it's really good. Um, so let's go back. I got to go back. I missed a bunch of uh, comments here. So Patty said, when is your next cruise? The sign behind me does say April 28th. You can usually see it during my videos. I'm using a different, I use a different camera for the live streams. So I'm on MSC Seashore on April 28th. I will be on that by myself since we spent $10,000 on the last cruise for the three of us, which is way too much money. Um, Peter, New Orleans. Yeah, New Orleans was wild. It was wild. Uh, Tony Max said, I walked out and burned the floor. It's terrible. I, I don't, I feel bad 
but it's terrible. And, you know, the fact that that's the primary show on the ship. We did see it like a Broadway show in the Spiegel tent. And that was really good, but they only did one show. And then, like, somebody lost their voice, so they canceled the other ones. There was a bunch of, like, things that happened to make. It was just, like, a lot of, like, boring nights where there was nothing to do between, like, 7.30 and 10.30. There wasn't even, like, at least on the Breakaway Plus class ships, you have somebody in the observation lounge. You have somebody at District Brew House. This was like the atrium or nothing, and every night there's a show in the atrium, and that's packed, and you can't even get in. So that was wild. Um, Sasha said, "I won't let the breakaway." No, you'll be the look. The breakaway was great. It's a great ship. You're gonna have a great time. It's my third time. I've been on that ship more than anything else. You will have a great time. Paolo asks if anybody has a cruise booked on the Vision. I have a cruise book, but it's not till January on the Vision. Giving away my secrets of next year, of our next year schedule already. Sound like NCO. Yeah. So that's my other thing with like, that was sad was like the people are just crushing. Uh, they're, they're so busy and they're, and they're way overworked and they really did cut back on the amount of people that are cleaning the rooms, um, which is sad. So. Okay, likes the show. Oh, are you talking about the rumor show? Yeah, I hope you are. Because the other, the other one's not good. Tom said, I saw the rumor show on the escape. I waited in line for two hours. Said stand. Yeah, so that was my other complaint, right? There's people in line at 7 o'clock for a 9.30 show. It's like, what's going on here? That's crazy. Sasha, you're going to have a great time. The breakaway is out. The ship looks great. The food was great. The entertainment that we saw was great. We didn't go to burn the floor. So go to the, like, Sid Norman's. If you can get in there, go to that. Uh, it's really great. Um, you'll have a great time. I would just Everything I was saying was just nitpicking. Tom said, we left the Yacht Club three times the entire week, once for a massage, once to go to Bridge Size, and then to go to Bridge Kid. Yeah, I mean, that's the beautiful part of Seascape, right? And the beautiful part of being in the Yacht Club. That's why it's a ship within a ship. It's amazing. Uh, amazing. JC, hello. How are you? If you are, if you just popped in, please uh, just throw your name in the chat so I can add you to the board for when we do our coffee giveaway. Sasha asks, do they change the crew when they change home base sports? Not necessarily. So the crew are all on contracts. Those contracts range from three months to nine months, depending on what group you're in. Um, and the captains are 10 weeks on, 10 weeks off. So not necessarily. There will be some change of you know the guard on some of them like we had people that were leaving uh when we were getting off uh, it was a bartender in the headliners in the hell at the moon bar he's been on the ship for nine months and he was leaving the day we left and he was super excited to see his family we also had the most like <clears throat> we were trying to talk aj into getting a camera you know aj like wants to get better at filming not that we don't have a ton of cameras. i have like cameras just all over my desk here so she could certainly use any of our cameras, but she wants her own camera to like practice. So we wound up talking to one of the like camera guys from the Philippines and Meg, who just talks to everybody, asked if um, he, you know, if he had kids and he just like broke down and started crying. I felt so bad, but uh, it, he was super nice and he misses his kids. It was really sad. Uh, also the ice bar was great on the breakaway, but we've done that before. If you haven't done it, it's fun. You can go in there for like 20 minutes. It's something fun to do. Tony said Labadee got dropped for my May 16th sailing. It's crazy, right? Uh, the whole thing that's going on in Haiti there. It's really, really sad. <laughs> Tara said, wait, why you're going on vision? Hold on, Tara. I will tell you when we're going. I haven't added it to my, uh, to the website yet. I just like started working on 2025. So my thought process for 2025, after I spent $10,000 on this last cruise, I'm not kidding either. I spent $10,000 on this last cruise because I screwed up the air. I booked the cruise first and didn't realize it was going to be almost $3,000 for air for the three of us. Totally my fault. Um, so basically what I looked at for next year was I really want to cut down flying. It's just a huge expense, right? So if I fly... I have to leave a day early, right? So I have to pay for a flight, which is going to be a few hundred dollars. I have to pay for a hotel, which is going to be a few hundred dollars. I have to 
Um, I have to board my dog an extra day, which is almost $100 a day. I actually have to board my dog two extra days because the flight day, and then I generally never come home before. I think they close at four, so I'm never home before four. So I have to board. So it winds up being like an extra thousand or fifteen hundred bucks um, to fly somewhere. And uh, so next year, my goal is to really. This is what our um, our kind of thought process is for next year. This year, last year, and the year before, I've done like nine or ten cruises a year. That's a lot. Um, next year, I think what I'm going to try to do is seven smaller cruises or local cruises. So like New York, New Jersey, you know, Brooklyn, Bayonne, Manhattan, uh, Boston, which is drivable for me. It's like five hours. Uh, Baltimore, obviously, who knows what's going to happen down there. Uh, and uh, try to do all of those ships next year. So maybe do seven, like five, four, five, six, seven day cruises, and then do one epic cruise. So we're going to try to do one epic cruise a year where it's like a, you know, maybe it's Alaska or maybe it's like we we really want to book this fire and ice cruise uh, that Norwegian does on Spirit where you go from Vancouver to Alaska to Hawaii. It's a 15-day cruise. I would like to do a South Pacific cruise. I would like to do, um, you know, the fjords, something big like that or Europe. So we want to do seven and then an epic one. So still eight cruises a year. But uh, yeah, <laughs> watching all the comments come in. Comment, you guys are hilarious. All right, so let me tell you the dates I'm going on. I'm going on Vision January 16th of 2025. It's the eight-day Charleston, Bahamas, that cool one, that itinerary. So if anybody does want to go, if you want to do a group, it's awesome. Dom's going on the Prima in 20 days. Dom, you're going to love it. Go see. It's not my favorite designed ship. There are things about it that I love. I love about the ship. I love Price is Right. It's amazing. I love the Donna Summer Show. That's amazing. Um, I love, why does my camera keep getting blurry? Um, I love, what else do I love about it? The theater is amazing. The Palomar, the restaurant Palomar is amazing. It's like a Mediterranean restaurant. Love it. Uh, you're going to have a great time on Prima Group Cruise indeed, Palo. Let's do it. I wish my prize wheel was connected to the Powerball or Mega Millions. I would just keep spinning it and winning. Group Cruise on Vision. Uh, I would love to do a group cruise on World America. I have a big group going on World America next July. There are not any group deals. Uh, in 2025 on World America, just so you know. Uh, so, but I'm welcome to do it. If anybody wants to do that, let me know. If you guys have any ideas for like a group, if you guys want to do a group, uh, by all means, let me know. Meg wants to coordinate, Meg Anthony wants to coordinate a solo traveler's cruise. So if anybody wants to do like a solo trip, if you're not going with your significant other, or you just need a break, <laughs> you need a quick break, Meg wants to coordinate a little solo cruise. Team Vision. Team Baltimore. Uh, budget Cuts John. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, we don't have 100,000 uh, subscribers yet. So we have to uh, do a little cutbacks, you know? It's crazy. Like if I did nine of those a year, it's a hundred and some thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. That's why I'm stuck in an apartment here. <laughs> Tara said that would be awesome. Oh, that'd be so great, Tara. It'd be go on your birthday. Okay, there is, you don't need, who needs appliances? Um, could just go on cruises and then you don't have to wash your clothes. You could have them do them on the cruise. All right, Dom just said, the Vision Cruise, which port are you leaving from? Baltimore, hopefully. Um, I don't know what is going to transpire there. I, like I said, I haven't heard anything about it. And that cruise, I'll give you the exact itinerary. Um, let me pull it up real quick. We actually had three more people sign up for the Halloween cruise this week too, which is very good. Let's look at my vision of the seas.
So the itinerary is Baltimore for now, uh, Charleston, Port Canaveral, Grand Bahama, Nassau, and then back to Baltimore. So it's an eight-dayer. Uh, I love Charleston, one of my favorite U.S. ports. Um, yeah, so there you go. Okay, right? You don't need those things. Who needs them? Yay, me too. Our next uh, Zoom call is going to be on April the 13th for our uh, for our uh, Halloween cruise. We're going to be planning some stuff for that. And if you know anybody who would like to go on the Halloween cruise, speaking of, put up the little thing for that right now. Find that. There you go. Our Halloween cruise is on October 27th of this year out of Bayonne, New Jersey. We're going on the Symphony of the Seas down to Port Canaveral and the Bahamas. Yeah, that's not good, guys. You gotta, you, you, we got to stop taking care of our houses and just going on lots of cruises. Who needs a house? We can just live on a ship. Do the uh, you guys can spend the summer on the uh, resilient lady, and then you don't have to worry about it. Just ignore the problem; it'll go away. Um, so yeah, so that's my plan for next year for us is to do. We're obviously doing that in January. I am doing one a quick weekend flying. We're doing Independence of the Seas in February. Just give you a little bit of the uh, preview of next year. I'm doing uh, Prima out of New York in April of next year. We'll be doing Liberty of the Seas in June out of Bayonne. So those are all, with the exception of Independence, all drivable. We're doing Aqua in August uh, out of New York. And then who knows? The rest of the year I haven't gotten done yet. Yeah, Dave, let's go. Let's get the those little uh, procedures done quicker so you can uh, get back on the Halloween cruise. That'd be awesome. Peter, what were you thinking for September, October? Anybody else have uh, any cruises? Ooh, Eurebia. I, was, I wanted to book Eurebia. I love the like theory of what they're doing with that ship. It's very like green conscious. Even the paint on it is like uh, really interesting. Let me see. Let me see what that looks like, Peter. Let's do a little research while we're here. That's what these uh, live streams are for, right? Let's check it out. Yeah, 2025, of course. Uh, yeah, Tara. Feel free. We're uh, we're going to be going. Uh, wait till you see if you can actually deal with us for a week. Uh, I think the Aqua one in August is like a five day or to Bermuda. Just so you know. Uh, let me look up Eurebia. And let's do our dates for next year. Yeah, the Canada New England one's going to be great. Hey, Ash. Uh, no, Escape is not outdated. It looks great. Uh, we were just on Escape a few months ago. It's awesome. Uh, the only thing that was outdated is like the uh, like the decor in the studio lounge was like, it's still the, like the futuristic one. The one on Encore is super nice, but it's the Escape has been dry docked. Uh, it was dry docked, I think, during the pandemic. It, escape looks great. I've been on Escape twice since the pandemic. December of 2021, and then we were on it in September or October of last year. It was awesome. Uh, let me add Ash to the wheel. Let me add Kathy to the wheel. Kathy's going to the Mediterranean in NCL Getaway. We loved Getaway. We had a great time. Entertainment on there is great. They had like seven shows on there. They had Broadway Unplugged. They have uh, the Million Dollar Quartet on there. Let's get back to our cruise results here. September of 2025. Let's get over there. Let's see what we got. It's doing Northern Europe, which is what we're looking for. 
There's one going from Kiel, Kiel to Kiel, and the other one's going from Copenhagen, which is actually pretty cool. I have a feeling that the airfare is going to be nuts. So, Peter, that one's really cool. Uh, that one is going to be Copenhagen. And then one, two, three stops in Norway at the fjords. And then Kiel and then back to Copenhagen. And it is, I mean, it's moderately expensive. That's the end of September next year of like uh, September 25th like 2025 and the pricing right now is yeah, like a, uh, it's not terrible. Uh, balcony with drinks and Wi-Fi is like 3,700. I mean, it's way better than Royal, right? So that's not bad. If you wanted to do an inside cabin, it actually makes no sense to do an inside cabin. Inside cabin's 3,400, balcony's 3,700. So there you have it for Eurebia next year. Eurebia looks really cool. Tony's got uh, Royal Caribbean groups uh, June on Independence of the Seas and October on Oasis out of Fort Lauderdale. I love Oasis. Such a great ship. So you're on Carnival Pride October. I'm, I, I, Tara, I can't imagine that like the – Baltimore port is going to be shut down for that long. Um, unless they're doing like construction where it's impossible to pass under the bridge, but I, I don't know how that's going to work, but I can't imagine that they would shut down those ports. And I can't imagine that Royal Caribbean isn't already on the phone with them, figure out a way to raise that bridge up before they rebuild it. So they could bring bigger ships there. A hundred percent. Peter said, fly from Newburgh to Iceland, then two-hour layover to Denmark. That'd be great to do like a – that's like an epic trip that I'm talking about. So flying – like we could fly from Philly to Iceland, which is actually a pretty quick flight. I think it's five hours. And then uh, do like a day or two in Iceland and then fly over to Den Denmark and then do the – do dinner at Noma in Copenhagen. That'd be awesome. And then do our thing. Yeah, Royal Caribbean, like if any of them are all over it, it's Royal Caribbean for sure. Kathy, that's a great cruise too. Copenhagen to the Baltics on Dawn. I love that one. That's awesome. I only have a couple. I was looking at my sheet today. I only have a couple ships left on NCL that I haven't been on. So I only have uh, Dawn, Pride of America, Jade, and Epic. They're the only... Uh, and obviously like aqua. Yeah, it's our, they, <laughs> I mean, if they, if they made the bridge higher and they were bringing in bigger ships, they would need to build a whole new pier. Of course, like that pier and park it. Like there's a million things they would have to build a parking garage. It's like, all oh, that's not going to happen. I'm sure. But yeah, they, I mean, there's a lot of logistics that would go into actually doing like a larger ship there. Which is why it's so dumb that Philadelphia doesn't have a port because we had it for like two years and then our stupid uh, politics here didn't want it. And it's like the perfect place. It's got a perfect outlet to the ocean without going under any bridges. And we could have Oasis class ships. The Navy Yard down there is massive uh, where they could do it. But nope, does not work. All right. Anybody have any questions tonight? Anybody want to know anything about Breakaway that we were just on or just any random questions? Again, I'm going to be on Seashore uh, in just a few weeks. Two Old Farts is going to be on Seascape June 8th. That's exciting. Yeah, good luck getting Icon in Baltimore. Good luck. That's, it's really funny because I was as I was doing my 2025, I was like, oh, maybe we'll jump on Icon or Star like towards the end of the year uh, just to do like a quick, like at least try to get on the ships and just try them out a little bit. And Icon was like $6,000 for me for a week. And it was like 5000 on Star, which is crazy. It's cheaper. 
but I'm like, I just can't do it. Yeah, Philly's such a perfect place to have a port, you know, similar to New York, right? Because New York just has the Hudson, and then boom, you're out at the ocean. Same thing with Philly. It's just the Delaware, and then boom, you like outlet right into the ocean. It takes like a few hours. It's not bad. Not like the Mississippi. We were in the Mississippi. It took 10 hours to get from New Orleans to the ocean, which is fine. It's like not a big deal. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy that we don't have a port. It would be perfect. Dom, I know Tyra just answered you. Los Lobos is excellent. They do tableside guac, which is really, really good. Uh, I had the carne asada there. It was really, really good. Um, yeah, so those are great. Uh, JC said, my sister has sale, only sale carnival, and they booked MSC Maravilla. What can they expect different? It's So Maravilla, this is my like thing for this year. Right. So we've booked so much MSC this year already because Royal so expensive right now and people are looking at alternatives to Royal. I mean, if you've been on. To me, Maravilia feels the most Royal Caribbean ish of all the MSC ships, because there's a there's a promenade and there's shops and restaurants on the promenade. So um, as it compares to Carnival. It's going to be much more international leaving out of Brooklyn. Like when we were on it, we'll be on it again in a few months, but it's, you know, carnival, you're going to, you know, you get a certain crowd on carnival. It's a more party atmosphere atmosphere and a lot more family atmosphere where Maravilla is going to feel uh, a little more Royal Caribbean ish. Uh, it's a beautiful ship. If they have the dome and the promenade. I think I think she'll love it if they have. I always tell people just like have low expectations and just go enjoy yourself. I think they're really going to like it. The you know it's it's a little different. It's it's definitely more international. The staff is more international. The the crowd of people are going to be more international. But otherwise, I mean, there's not you know pretty much all the like Carnival, MSC, Royal, NCL. There are little differences as you go from line to line, the vibe or the people or like the entertainment, but the experience is very similar on most of them. Tony's going to be on Rhapsody April 13th. Tara said Los Lobos is amazing. It is. Uh, LK said the path from sea to Seattle is a riverboat. You're not kidding. That really is. Hey, Peter, on Gem, uh, no specialty coffee in the drink package unless you have, like, the premium plus, the, like, super high-end uh, drink package. That one has coffee. And, like, when we were on Breakaway, if you have that, you can get Starbucks every day if you want it. That's the other thing. The Starbucks line. Like, we need to have an intervention in this country about Starbucks. You're on a cruise. I saw 200 people in line for Starbucks. It's not that good where I'm paying 10 bucks a day, 20 bucks, 30 bucks a day for coffee. It's insane. But it was packed. Tara, we are going to be on Maravilla on August the 4th. You are welcome to join us. And that'll be your third cruise with us this year. It's going to be so much fun. Uh, Tom said he's been on Maravilla twice, going back on in November. That is fun. Yeah, Seascape for sure uh, down in Miami is much more European, much more European. I mean, you're going to see tons and tons and tons of Europeans down there. Yeah, the status match for – I don't know. There's, you don't really – there's no big perks to the MSC status program. Um, you get some chop, like you're, you're – yeah. I mean, she probably gets way better benefits on – Carnival than she would on MSC, but you might as well do it. It doesn't it doesn't hurt. <laughs> Tara, it's funny because like we'll get like I I had a couple of Starbucks, but I like would only go there if there was no line. I went at, like you know really weird times, but like if you go down there in the morning at like six thirty in the morning, I would go down there and work because there's plugs at Starbucks. It's like a regular Starbucks, so I'd go down there and sit and work. And like the line is from Starbucks all the way through the atrium. 
it's just so 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 funny um yeah true on the msc beverage package MSC is a good deal, man. It's the best deal right now out there. Like I said, we've sold five times more MSC this year than anything else for the travel agency. It's crazy. Like I'm meeting with our Royal rep in a couple of weeks and we haven't sold a ton of Royal this year. It's just so expensive. Like people will call, I give them pricing, they say no, and then they wind up booking with MSC. It's crazy. Yeah, celebrity celebrity is a is an interesting experience compared to royal. It's slightly different and different enough that it's really interesting. And just call out sick, Tara. Just a, a week of sick is totally fine. Just tell them I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to make it this week. I have a uh, medical thing going on, and we will see in Brooklyn on the MSC Maravilla. <laughs> They do have Seascape back here. I have a little sea. I didn't get a Maravilla ship. Also, the MSC ships are really nice. Look how nice that ship. It's heavy too. It's super heavy. A little Seascape. Really, really nice. And then my other pet peeve on Breakaway. They didn't have the bin there mugs. The NCL is the worst with merch. They don't do a good job with merch. But I did get a fun New Orleans one. So now I have a bin there New Orleans mug which they had on breakaway, but not the breakaway one. Yeah, just let them know, Tara. I'll give you a sick note. Travel agents, doctor, it's the same thing. Tim wants to know if anybody has done an African cruise. I have not. I don't even know anybody that's done an African cruise. I'm trying to think. I don't, I don't know anybody who's done anything. I know people that have done like safaris. I don't know anyone that's done an African cruise. Not that I am aware of. Yeah, if anybody has like an idea for like that epic cruise, if anybody wants to do a group or you have an idea for like something like Africa or the fjords or anything like that, let me know. All right, let me make sure we have all the names on the list here. I will also make sure everybody's stuff has gone out. Now that I'm back, I'll make sure everybody's stuff that goes out for the winners from the last couple of weeks. I know Patty, Sana, Paolo, Tony, Have to get some prizes and get those out this week. Tom said MSC. Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, I saw that. I was shocked when I like looked at what you booked and I was like, oh, they're in the yacht club. And then I was like, that's a 24 day cruise. I mean, that's amazing in the yacht club. Really, 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 really. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I would love to do the Northern Lights too. So there are a couple of options for Northern Lights. Iceland cruises do not go well. I've booked a ton of people on them. The weather's horrendous. Uh, it never works out well. Um, but we could do the Northern Lights. If anybody wanted to do like a late season uh, Alaska cruise, we could do the Northern Lights late there in Alaska, which would be cool. LK said, lots of places I can't get to because airfare is way too much. Amen to that. Tell me about it. Oh, I'm glad you got the foot massager. That's awesome. It only took uh, almost three months to get it to you. I can't believe it was on back order for three months. Um, I'm glad you got it. That's awesome. Okay, seeing the Northern Lights. That's one of my things. I saw that where Hurt and Gruden has a guarantee for the Northern Lights. That's impressive that they're doing like a guarantee for that. That's insane. Um, all right. So I'm going to do, we're going to do the book that Meg was doing last, the other week, which is Einstein's dreams. I think that's what it's called. Einstein's. Yeah. It's Einstein's dreams. 
So we're going to give away that book. If you missed that when uh, Meg gave away a book the other week, I think that was the name of the book, right? Somebody remind me if that was not the name of the book. I might be losing my mind. <laughs> same thing, Tony, same thing. Robert said that was a cool sounding book. Yeah, I think it was Einstein's dream, right? Anybody remember? I don't remember. I will. It's going to be that book. So just so you're aware. All right. Let me share my screen here and we will do some prizes. Using my, uh, I'm using my dog peanut as the background for our little, um, thank you, Peter. I'm using Peanut here to do my little spin on the wheel. Got all our names up here. In the old wheel. And the winner of the book is... To write these things down, since AJ is not here. JC book. JC, I'm pretty sure I have your um, address. <laughs> Tony said, what, are people, what about people with peanut allergies? You are SOL, Tony. If you're allergic to my dog, Peanut, you're SOL. All right, now we're going to give away some coffee or tea. Looks like it's going to be two old farts. Two old farts, I don't think I have your address. If I do, please remind me. If I do not, please send me your email. I'm gonna put my email in there. Please send me your address. Can't email you coffee or tea. Yeah, JC, I thought so. Um, yeah, Tony, everyone's on strike. Uh, AJ is uh, super busy this week. Obviously, like, they, you know, the thing with the Meg and AJ is they actually have families and lives. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like myself. So AJ has a son and a husband. So she needs to spend some time with them this week since we were gone last week. Um, and uh, Meg, like I said, Meg Anthony, the Duchess, Meg Anthony, we're calling her Duchess all week. So she is, uh, she just bought a house. Her and her husband bought a house in Lidditz and they are moving in this week. Uh, Dave, it absolutely does. The little uh, thing from the playground that you spin around and everybody flies off of. Uh, JC, uh, my dog is a Doberman. She is uh, adorable. They are not scary dogs. I don't know why people... She also has floppy ears, so she doesn't look scary, um, which definitely helps. Yes, everyone, please. Uh, we would love for you to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much, Tom. Tony said, we are your family. That is correct. You guys are my family. Really appreciate it. Um, I told you, if we get to 100,000 uh, subscribers, what was my thing for this year? If we get to 100,000 this year, I'm going to put, all of you guys are going to go on a cruise. Everyone who was on our uh, December, our New Year's one, is going to go on a cruise. Thank you, Paolo. Yes, Ash, those things are treacherous. You would fly right off of them. River cruise. Oh, that's right, Sana. Thank you very much. We're all going to go on the Christmas river cruise. Uh, that is next year if we hit 100,000 this year. Um, so that would be awesome. I remember that now. Christmas river cruise 
all of you cool people will get to go to all farts. Thank you very much. I probably have it somewhere, but just be on the safe side. Um, yes. The metal on those is so hot. Like the sliding boards too, just on fire. Um, so yeah. And like Tom said, good night, everyone. Pray for everybody in Baltimore. That is a crazy, very sad thing. Um, for sure. It's nuts. So thank you all so much for watching. Thanks everybody for spending your Wednesday evening with me here. I really appreciate it. Um, we will see everybody next week. The tomorrow is going to be the like pre-cruise hotel. Then I have like a breakaway, uh, overview and then I'll start the vlogs. They just take a little bit of time to edit. So I'll be getting those done. Everybody have a wonderful week and we will see everyone next week. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye.